we can count any specific character in a given string with the help of two functions first function is len function this function counts length of any given string second is substitute function substitute function replaces any existing text with new text so let's see how we can do this on this sheet i have two cells with some text values the task is to count total number of a present in these two text values so what i'll do i will use len function start brackets give reference to the cell where we have text value we can see that length of a2 cell is 15 i will drag this formula down now we can see that length of a3 cell is 24 so this is we have simply calculated length by using len function now in next cell i will use len function again start bracket and then one more function that is substitute substitute function takes four parameter fourth is optional so what i'll do i will select the text after selecting text inverted commas then a then comma now i want to replace a with space so for a space i'll put two commas close the bracket then one more outer bracket we can close we can see this formula is len then substitute function where from a to cell we are replacing small a by space once i press enter we can see that now length is coming 14 that means a is replaced by space if i drag this formula down then length using substitute function is coming as 21 that means in this cell also formula is replacing a with a space so logically if i say that 15 minus 14 this is giving 1 which is the count of a if i drag this formula down then we can see that in this cell a is present three times so what we have done is first calculated len then length with the use of substitute function and then checking that if it is working correctly now this was for understanding purpose we can use simple one formula with the same logic so how in one cell we can calculate equal to len minus len substitute function start brackets again i will select the text or a2 cell where i would like to replace a with space so what i am doing is i am using two functions or the previous logic that i explained once i press enter we can see that a is present only one time in this a2 cell if i drag this formula down we can see that a is present three times in second cell so by using simple uh, logic and combination of more than one functions we can complete any data cleaning function or any uh, data cleaning task for different requirements thanks for watching i hope this helps you please subscribe to my channel for more excel tutorials thank you